In this video, I'm going to show you how you can take this boring Word document and convert it into a professionally designed ebook. So as you can see, I have all my content written in Microsoft Word and there's quite a lot of content. I think it's there's four chapters and yeah, it's about 19 pages. And as you can see, it's pretty much all just plain text. And this content, like it might be good content, but I can almost guarantee that if you send this content to one of your customers, you probably won't read it. That's just because content like this, it's just a little bit overwhelming. It's just a wall of text. It's hard to digest. It's hard to get through. It's hard to consume. So what we need to do is just package this content up a little bit better so it's a little bit easier for our audience to consume. So to do that, we're going to use Beacon. So let's jump back into Beacon. And on the dashboard, we're going to select Create New Lead Magnet. We're going to select ebook as our format. And for import blog content, we're going to select no. And that's because our content lives in a Word document. You know, it's not on our blog, it's not on our website. So let's choose no. Next, we'll get to choose a template for how our ebook looks. Um, so let's just pick this one and we'll give our ebook a name. And hit the yellow button. Now what Beacon has done um, you can see a preview of the ebook on the right hand side and down the left hand side you can also see all the pages that are included in our ebook by default. So it's things like the cover page, a table of contents, an introduction, about the author. Now these are all pages that you would probably typically find in an ebook and these are great to add the structure to your ebook but you know it's not the real content, it's not what the, the reader needs. Um, so what we would recommend doing is either customizing some of these pages. So obviously put in an image of yourself there, or if you don't need the page, you can go ahead and just delete it by clicking the trash can icon next to the title and then selecting delete. Um, but I think in my opinion that these six pages should form the core of any ebook. Um, but what we need to do now is we need to just grab our content from Microsoft Word and bring it into Beacon. So the first thing we're, that we're going to do is go into Microsoft Word. Um, I'm going to scroll to the top of this document and I just want to take the content from the first chapter. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight the content from chapter one and I'm going to copy that content and then I'm going to go back into Beacon and I'm going to select the add new page button and I'm going to choose continuous. So with this page, you can paste in as much content as you like. So if I just select paste, you can see that all our content has been brought in. Um, so if I scroll down, you can see it all. And we might just want to reformat this content slightly. So for example, instead of having flow page as the title, let's have the actual chapter title. So I'm going to copy that. Going to add it to the flow page and then just delete any text that you maybe don't need anymore. So that's our first chapter. It's already in Beacon. So let me just show you that process again. I'm going to go to the Pages tab. I'm going to select Add New Page. I'm going to select Continuous. Then we're going to go back into Microsoft Word and we're going to grab all the content for Chapter Two. So I'm going to highlight all the content down as far as the end of chapter two. I'm going to copy that content. I'm going to jump back into Beacon and I'm going to paste this content into the continuous page. So again, we're going to replace a flow page with the actual title of the chapter and then delete any content that we probably don't need. So if we scroll down, we can see all our content is there. Um, so that's two chapters in. Let's do another couple just so you get the gist of it. It might seem a little bit repetitive, but once you practice it a little bit, you can get very quick at it. So in the Pages tab, we're going to select Add New Page, Continuous. Then we're going to jump back into Microsoft Word, and we're going to get all the content for Chapter 3. We're going to highlight that content. We're going to copy it. We're going to jump back into Beacon and then we're going to paste that content in. 
then we're going to delete any content that we don't need. And that's chapter three has been added to our ebook. And let's do that one more time just to show you bringing in chapter four. So add new page, continuous. Then back into Microsoft Word. And for the last time, we're going to highlight all of the content in chapter four. We're going to copy that content. We're going to jump back into Microsoft or back into Beacon. We're going to paste that content in. And we're going to delete any content that we didn't need. And as you can see, the content has all been added. So now if I go to preview our ebook, we can see that you know we have the cover page, we have a table of contents, but we have just that these items don't make sense, like flow page, like what's a flow page? I'll show you how to change that in a minute. Uh, we have our introduction, we have about the author, then we have chapter one, this nice bright page that says chapter one. So if a reader's scanning through the ebook, it'll stop them in their tracks and they'll know that this is the content for chapter one. So we'll need to customize this chapter title. And then we've got the call to action here, which probably should be at the end of the book. So we're gonna to need to reorder that. And then we have the actual content of our ebook. So this is all looking good, but you'll see that, you know, it's not much different from the Word document. Like we're running from one chapter into the next and it's visually like there's not a lot going on. So we're gonna to have to do a little bit of work here just to, to break this book up a little bit and make it a little easier to consume for our audience. So we've made a good start, but we still have some work to do. So let's jump back into Beacon. We're gonna close this preview. I'm gonna go back into the Pages tab, and the first thing that I'm gonna to wanna to do is I'm gonna to wanna to create a chapter separator for each of the four chapters. So at the minute, we just have this chapter separator um, it's just default, you know, it's for chapter one. It gives the chapter title goes here and there's an area to add some descriptive text about, you know, what the chapter actually contains. So we've got four chapters, so we're gonna need four of these pages. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to duplicate this four times. So on the left-hand side, I'm gonna select duplicate page. And then I'm gonna go again, duplicate page. And for a final time, duplicate page. Now I see that we have one, two, three, four chapter separator pages in the document. And we want our flow page, remember this is the actual content of the chapter, to come after a chapter separator. So to reorder these pages, you just click and drag, click and drag, click and drag. So you can see that we have a chapter separator and then we have the content. We have a chapter separator, and then we have the content. And finally, we, we want to make sure this call to action is at the end. So let's just drag that to the end of the ebook. So now, an important thing to remember about the table of contents is that the table of contents is automatically generated based on the title of the pages within your ebook. So that's why you can see that the table of contents as you know, this rubbish text like chapter separator, plain, copy, you know, if a reader sees that, they're not gonna understand it. So we need to go through and rename each of these pages so that the table of contents actually makes sense. So let's go close this blue menu and we're gonna change each of these chapter separators so that it has some human readable text. So this is the first one, chapter one. And the title of the first chapter is how many lead magnets should you create? So I'm just gonna copy that text, I'm gonna go back into the chapter separator, I'm gonna change this text on the page, and you know what? I don't think we actually need a summary for the chapter, so I'm just gonna delete that. And then, so I've changed how this chapter title looks on the page, but I also need to change how it looks on the left-hand side, because remember, it's this text that Beacon will use in the table of contents. So to change that, let's just click the pencil icon and we're gonna paste over that old copy and hit rename. So there we have it, that's our first chapter, looking good. Um, and don't worry about renaming like flow page because you know that's not gonna actually be included in the table of contents. It's just gonna be this bit here that is. Um, so you can rename this if you want, but you don't have to. So let's repeat that process 
for chapters 2, 3 and 4. So we'll go into chapter 2. We're going to copy the title. We're going to go to the chapter separator page that precedes it. We're going to update this to say chapter 2. We're going to paste the content of the actual uh, chapter title there. And we're going to delete the description. Now we need to rename the page within Beacon by following the same process. And that's chapter 2. So let's go ahead and get chapter 3 ready. So we go into chapter 3. We copy the text from the headline. No, this is the actual chapter title. Go back into the chapter separator above it. Change this to chapter 3. Replace this with the actual chapter title. And we're going to delete this description. And one last time, let's get the title of chapter 4. Copy that. Go into the chapter separator page that precedes it. We're going to change this to chapter 4. We're going to replace this text with the actual headline of chapter 4. We're going to delete the description. And then we're going to rename the page within the beacon menu. Um, so you can see now we've got our first chapter, chapter one, how many lead magnets should you create? Brilliant, and we've got the content, excellent. Chapter two, use these tips to generate more leads from your blog, then we've got the actual content. Oh, then we've got chapter four, no, sorry, chapter three, but I haven't actually changed this. See the way it still says chapter separator plane? We're gonna to wanna to replace that with this text. So let's copy that and then rename the page within Beacon. And then the page after that is the actual content. Then we have chapter four, and then we have chapter four's content, and then finally the call to action. So let's go back into the table of contents, and I'm just gonna click on the table of contents to update it. Remember, if you make changes to the titles of pages, or if you add new pages to your document within Beacon, you will have to go in and just refresh the table of contents by clicking on it. So we've got introduction about the author and then these one, two, three, four chapters within our document. So that's all looking good. I'm just gonna hit preview and give it one final glance. Cover page looks great. Table of contents looks good. And if I click any of these page titles, it'll bring me directly to the relevant page within Beacon. And you can see if I continue to scroll down, there is some text, you know, that's unavoidable in an ebook, but eventually the reader will come across this bright, bold, beautiful page that catches their attention and they know that they're in chapter four. They know what chapter four is about and then they can continue reading. Um, so that's great. And then finally, we have the call to action page at the end. So there you have it. In about 10 or 15 minutes, we've taken a boring document um, and converted it into a beautiful ebook. Now this process, I was using Microsoft Word for this process, but the same process would apply if you were using Google Docs or any other type of word processor. So I hope you had fun. If you have any questions, be sure to send them my way.